four months ago, the world was stopped in its tracks by a deadly virus. COVID-19 is a very long way from finished and eradication is technically impossible. Science is now centre stage, changing the lives of millions. We're shining the light of science on this invisible killer. But the science often seems confusing. Early predictions were wide of the mark. More than 30,000 people have now died. Wonder drugs have failed to deliver. And immunity passports are yet to materialize. Six weeks ago, Horizon looked at what we knew about this new virus. But science has never moved so quickly. We've diverted all our capability for coronavirus. So what do we know now? So there is live coronavirus in there. Will we ever become immune? You've got some people who haven't made any antibody at all. The danger is herd immunity could fade away. Yes. How close are we to finding a vaccine? We've started moving to doing real clinical manufacturing at industrial scale very early. And what have we learnt about how this virus is attacking us? There's a growing evidence that this is a multi-system disease. As we enter this new phase of the pandemic, the task now is not just learning more about this novel virus, but more about ourselves, how our bodies work, how we interact with each other, and how we can use this information to protect those most at risk. The speed at which we're able to answer these questions is going to affect every aspect of the way we live our lives in the coming weeks, months and years. If you'd told me a year ago that a novel coronavirus would jump into the human population from a bat somewhere in East Asia, neither I nor anyone who studies infectious diseases would have been particularly surprised. In fact, there were three papers published in early 2019 predicting exactly that. But everything that's happened since that initial transfer, that initial jump between species has been, to me anyway, completely unimaginable. To try and make sense of where we are and what's going to happen, sometimes the best thing to do as a scientist is to look to the past. It's thought coronaviruses have been infecting animals for hundreds of millions of years. 